Hello everybody, my name is Poops, and today I'm going to be running through an updated tutorial on how to participate in the official Rec Room User Tutorial Program. So yes, yeah, this is indeed a tutorial about making tutorials. Let's get into it. Now, for those of you who don't know, players of Rec Room and up to two of their friends can create their own tutorials on how to do things in Rec Room. By doing this well, you may even earn some of these snazzy tutorial gowns. Ooh, so snazzy. Now, these gowns are earned in order depending on the quality of your tutorials, from blue to white. Keep in mind, the third tier white gown is reserved for those users who go above and beyond, so it will take a lot of dedication to earn that. Now to start, in order for the tutorials to be officially counted in the tutorial program, you must post a YouTube link to your tutorial in the Rec Room official Discord server in the hashtag tutorials channel. Every month, a Rec Room staff member reviews the tutorials, and if your tutorials meet enough of the quality standards, you may be eligible for a gown reward. Users who have earned the second or third tier gowns also get their tutorials put up on the Community Tutorial Playlist on the official Rec Room YouTube channel. Now that those logistics are out of the way, I'm going to outline, in my opinion, some of the biggest things to consider when making a Rec Room tutorial. Now, Rec Room tutorials can be about any topic in Rec Room. It doesn't have to be about the Maker Pen. Now, when choosing a topic, you have a few things you're going to want to consider. First off, you should consider, does this topic really need a tutorial? Some things in Rec Room are pretty straightforward. Don't make a 5-minute tutorial on something a player can figure out themselves in just a couple of seconds. The second thing to consider when choosing a topic is, has this tutorial been done before? The Rec Room YouTube channel as well as many other players make tutorials. Before diving into your video, look to see if tutorials about your topic already exist. If this is the case, you need to ask yourself, if you made a tutorial on this topic, would it be better or build off of the tutorials that already exist? For example, Rec Room, as well as many other users, have made tutorials about the animation gizmo. There isn't much more to be said about this topic, so it might not be the best topic for a tutorial. The final thing to consider when choosing a topic is scope. The tutorials you're creating should be understandable and not contain too much or too little information for your viewer. You shouldn't go into your tutorial thinking you're going to teach your viewer everything there is to know about the Maker Pen. That's a bit too ambitious. Instead, focus on one section of the Maker Pen. Now that you have chosen a topic, you'll need to actually record your video. This next little section will be split into three parts. A section for PC VR users, a section for PlayStation VR users and Quest users, and a final section for screen mode players. For recording your tutorial on PC VR, you're going to want to utilize the streaming camera, and set your settings to 90 frames per second. I've previously made a comprehensive tutorial on the streaming camera that you can check out in the description of this video. While filming, use a mix of still streaming camera shots and first-person shots. However, too many first-person shots in VR can be disorienting, but they can help you highlight certain areas of your tutorial, if you're doing building tutorials especially. When in first-person mode, try and keep your head still as to not confuse your viewer. In addition, vary your shots. Tutorials filmed with one camera angle from 30 yards away might not produce the most engaging tutorial. Now, for Quest and PlayStation VR players who don't have access to the streaming camera, you're going to want to be very careful and move your head slowly. As I said previously, rapid head movements in first person can disorient and confuse your viewers. Screen mode players should follow the same guidelines. Keep your movements as slow and smooth as possible. Don't fling your mouse or joystick around, this will produce the easiest to understand final product. 
And now, for everyone while recording, make sure to speak slowly and clearly, and have some kind of outline about what you're going to talk about, so there's not a lot of ums and uhs throughout your video, and it just makes things seem a lot smoother. Moving on, after you've recorded your tutorial, you're going to want to edit it. This may require exporting footage to a PC or using a built-in editor like ShareFactory on PlayStation. Now, you don't need to own Adobe Premiere and have five years of training to edit a video. There are tons of free editors you can find that will do the job nicely and are fairly easy to use. In editors, you can splice your clips, add text and transitions, and even remove mistakes you may have accidentally made in recording. An edited video will always look nicer and better than an 8 minute unedited clip of you just building with the Maker Pen. For Quest and PS4 players, you can use editors to fix the resolution of your video and remove the dark vignette that's around PlayStation VR recording. Finally, once that's all done, you're going to want to finalize your video. Videos are judged on quality, not quantity, so if you're wanting to earn the rewards, making 50 low-effort tutorials isn't going to cut it this time. You're going to want to make sure your tutorials are preferably 60 frames per second and in a viewable resolution, preferably 16x9 or 1080p. In addition, a thumbnail greatly enhances the look of your tutorial. There are a ton of free photo editing programs out there that you can use to make a thumbnail. Lastly, you're going to want to pick an easy-to-understand title for your video, and you're good to go! From there, you're going to want to head over to Discord, where you're going to want to post the link to your tutorial from YouTube in the hashtag tutorials channel. Remember, as I just said, the program is based off of quality, not quantity. First and foremost, you should be making tutorials to teach not just as a quick and easy way to earn some exclusive items. Now, if you follow the instructions in this video, you should have no problem creating amazing tutorials. For more detailed technical instructions, be sure to check the pinned messages in the tutorial section on the Rec Room Discord. As always, thanks for watching and make sure to check out my other Rec Room tutorials and Rec Room related videos. Happy tutorial making! And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Yeah!